The interview process can be very scary, but knowing the questions ahead of time can help you prepare and be more confident in your interview process. One question that I've been asked on every single interview, and I've been on hundreds in my tenure, has been, tell me about yourself. It's an opportunity for you to provide a brief overview of your background, experience, or what makes you a strong candidate for the position. Honestly speaking, when I first started out, I just always messed this question up. But after different interviews, different experiences, and years of learning, I found a better way and a template to answer this question. In this video, we're gonna dive deeper into it. First off, smile. Smiling helps break the ice and relieve the tension between you and a person interviewing you. It also shows you're happy, confident, and excited about the experience. If somebody walks into an interview and is sad or has a mad face, that already sets the tone for a bad interview. So by simply smiling and starting on the right note, can help the rest of your interview process greatly. So after you smile and break the ice, then you want to start with a brief introduction about yourself. Begin by sharing your name and a little about your background, such as your education and any relevant certifications. Example, certainly my name is whatever your name is, and I recently graduated with a degree in whatever field it was in. I also completed a certification in certification name, which has equipped me with mentioned some skills or knowledge gained. Short and simple, straight to the point. Making sure that you're not going on a tangent telling unneeded or unwanted information. The next part, is to highlight your relevant experience. For this part, stay on track. The interviewer doesn't care that you have a dog or like the party on the weekends. That's irrelevant. Keep that personal information to yourself. Unless specifically asked, do you have pets? Or do you party on the weekends? If they don't ask that, which they most likely won't, don't bring it up. Discuss relevant work experience, internships, or projects that demonstrate your skills and knowledge in the field. Focus on accomplishments or skills that are directly related to the position that you're applying for. Example, during my time at a previous company or an internship or a project, I had the opportunity to work on the project name or responsibilities. This experience allowed me to develop strong skills and mention some specific skills. And I also had the chance to mention any notable achievements. So now you introduced yourself, mentioned your background. Now let's talk about your strengths and skills. Mention a few key strengths or skills that are particularly relevant to the job you're applying for. Be sure to tie these back into the requirements of the position. So if you mentioned, I know how to write test documentation, including test plans and test cases, relate that back to the requirements in a job description. Say, I saw you guys wanted someone with those capabilities. Here's an example. One of my strengths is mentioning strength like attention to detail which I believe is crucial in mentioning a relevant aspect of the job, like quality assurance. Additionally, I am proficient in mentioning relevant tools or software that might have been mentioned in a job description. And I have a strong ability to mention another relevant skill. For this part, you get to show your personality a little bit. Show your enthusiasm for the position. Nobody wants somebody who's just going to be there to punch in and punch out the clock. No, they want you to be excited 
to join their team and company. Express your interest and excitement about the specific position and the company. This shows that you've done your research and are generally interested in the opportunity. Here's an example. I'm particularly excited about the opportunity to join whatever the company is called because of mention some specific reason about the company, like its innovative approach to a industry. I'm eager to contribute my skills and be part of a team that mentions something you admire about the company, like it drives meaningful impact in some area. Quick break. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If so, leave a like and subscribe. If you need help on your software testing journey, check out my website, thetestinglead.com. I have courses and books to help you along your way. Now, back to the video. And finally, you want to conclude with a summary because you just said a lot of information. So you wanna tie it all back together, making sure that you're staying on task and on topic. Wrap up your response by summarizing why you believe you're a good, strong fit for the position and how your background aligns with the company needs. Example, in summary, I believe my background in mentioned relevant experience or education and my strengths in mentioned relevant skills make me a strong candidate for this role. I'm eager to bring my expertise to company name and contribute to a specific goal or project mentioned in the job description. Remember to keep your answers concise and on topic. They should all be relevant to the job you're applying for. Practice this answer because nine times out of 10, they're gonna ask you about this right away. So if you practice and rehearse your answer, once the interview comes, you'll smile and be confident and answer the question appropriately. And your answer might slightly change from company to company because different companies may have different job descriptions or qualities that they're looking for. And you wanna emphasize it in your opening pitch. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. If you got any value from this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you need help on your software testing journey, check out my book, QA Must Know Vocabulary, as well as my courses available on my website. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.